Hi, I'm Kath Malloy. I'm the author of The Million Dollar Handshake. Welcome to the online prosperity TV show. Today, we're going to have a look at how you can revolutionize the way you communicate in business and life. Big soon. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you Australian keynote speaker and communications expert, Catherine Molloy. Catherine, how are you doing, my love? Hello, and a big hello to everyone out there today as well. Absolutely. Now, Catherine Malloy has been working globally and specializing in sales, service, and leadership. And she's got 25 years of experience in business, training, and also facilitation. Now, Catherine believes in creating effective, engaging learning environments through powerful communication techniques. Uh, she was showing me a few of her works before we started the show, and she's immersed herself in the field of communication and body language uh, physics psychology and um this is anchored through you know her authority as a communication master she also holds a master's degree in neuro linguistic programming as well as qualifications in business leadership and management and she's also a qualified disc accredited um accredited consultant now catherine i could go on and on and sing <laughs> your accolades uh till the cows come Tell us a little bit about your story and, um, you know, what it is that you do to this day. Around 10 years ago, uh, we had a, a family member that fell ill and it um, changed the course of our life and what we were going to do. So we actually had to sell our, our business and everything that was tied up in the business in the recession that Australia didn't have in 2008, 2009. So we lost around a million dollars during that period. And uh, that was kind of tough because we were left with a you know, big mortgage and three kids at school. And then we didn't have our, our job. So we had to decide what to do. And I love training and education. And I love body language and sales. So I started a training company. And at that stage, I wanted to donate 10% of all we earned um, to some of the poorest people in the world. And uh, I, I remember at that time, my husband's going, you know, why are you doing that? You know, we've just lost all this. And I just felt this was my business. And I felt if I was going to do well, I'd need to be helping other people along the way and not just ourselves. So that's how it started. And, and in the first 14 months, I signed over a million dollars in contract face to face in Queensland for training. So the business kicked off. Um, we soon had 18 staff up here on the Sunshine Coast and we had 36 trainers we were using around Australia. The business grew very fast. So of course that has problems within itself, but it taught me so much. It also taught me that I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. We had all the success, which was fantastic, but now instead of me going out and training and doing all the things I loved, I was just managing, which is great. And I've won awards for management and I, I really enjoy it. But I enjoy more working with people and getting into their businesses and seeing, um, I ha I'm very visual and I see the big picture. So I was given this gift that's easy for me to identify problems. So for instance, um, as you know, IT, is not my area of expertise. However, <laughs> I can identify problems and get the right people in to get it fixed. So um, that was a skill that I had and I wanted to get back out and use it. I was invited by the council on the education task force and I went to China. I, we did a um, little mud map and a mind map and goal settings, very important for me. And at the start of that year, I put China there because I wanted to see about getting our leadership and diplomas into China. And, you know, within three weeks of that, we were invited on a mission to go to China. Fantastic. Thank you, universe. Um, and I went over there with 12 other people and we spoke in front of um, a group of around 150 at lunchtime. And then I was invited back to come and speak to them on cultural communication. So 
So it's being really flexible, adaptable, but also when you understand body language, you can work anywhere with anyone. Because when you take away verbal and nonverbal communication, you're left with the raw behavior styles of people, which is beautiful because that's where we get to connect and communicate. And of course, using body language on stage, I was able to read my audience, make sure I was staying on track with what interested them. And the council said to me, this is the first time we've sealed a deal in 12 years. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful story right there. And thank you so much for sharing. Now, with all that expertise and everything that you've just mentioned, um, you know, in your introduction there, Catherine, it has the whole uh, backbone on effective communication. Now, how important is it to communicate effectively uh, in, in the realm of business or in just relationships that we have um, that, that will make us you know, happier beings? Look, I just don't understand why people haven't changed. So the beauty of my business was technology had changed. How was I going to learn this? How was I going to do that? But people hadn't, and I'm in the people business. So all the skills that I'd learned back in my 20s and I studied body language and I was top sales in all the corporate areas that I worked and nationally I top sales for Westpac and went into their training center for them. So it's just so important. I don't understand if human beings haven't changed, our behaviors are still exactly the same. I've been now working internationally for four years in many businesses that earn millions of dollars and they have the exact same problem as everyone else in the world because of the behaviors of people. So why aren't we conscious enough to bring that forward? Is it ego? Is it perceptions? Why, what is it people don't want to learn about how to communicate well? It's about taking responsibility for your thoughts, your actions and your words. And it's a lot of work. And what I've learned is human beings natu are naturally lazy, right? <laughs> Um, and we have over 950 divorces a week in Australia and that's just under half of the marriages and it makes you um, wonder why that 97% of these are due to miscommunication breakdown. You know, husbands and wives can fight without saying a word and staff and bosses, you know, people go, ah, oh, here's that person, I don't like that person and they put their head down instead of finding a way to communicate with them because they're human beings. They're the same as us. And you know, if that person annoys you, then guess what? You're annoying them too. What are you going to do about it? Absolutely. And so I, yeah, I truly believe it's about becoming more conscious, but finding out who you are, how you like to communicate. Because you know, everywhere you go in the world, you're going to meet people you love straight away. And you're going to meet people that you don't really want to connect with. Absolutely. Because it's this perception, you know, and 25% of people roughly are going to be like us that we meet. But how are you going to communicate with the rest of them? And um, I guess over the last 10 years in our training company, we've won awards for sales training, for our leadership training. Um, I've personally won awards in management training as well and I created the million dollar handshake um, and you know downstairs in the office we we're going to show you a few things but you know I'm, I'm out here in the beautiful outdoors in Queensland so um, I'll take you through a little bit in here but the million dollar handshake of course is more than just a handshake but it does start there most of the time it's our first connection and we transfer information in those first moments and those first seven seconds walking up to somebody, how we shake their hands, whether we lean in, whether we pump them, whether we go underneath to make them feel good and then we pat them. Some people like to grab you. You know, some people like to turn their head sideways, show, look, I'm giving you my ear. But what looks more professional, straight up and down or sideways? Of course, it's straight up and down. A lot of the times people will come up to me on stage and they'll, they'll 
dip a little bit sideways, they might be on one leg, they come forward, they come back, they grab your hand here, they grab your hand there. So there's so many different things that we're doing, but each one of these movements actually triggers a thought in the other person's brain. Some people go, oh, that handshake, that's just too hard. Well, guess what? That person will be thinking your handshake's too soft. Right. Okay. And vice and vice versa. But you can do something about that because in body language, in one twenty-fifth of a second, you can react before you speak. So in a nanosecond, you can change your degree of firmness to soften it a little bit to meet that person or to firm it up to meet that person and make them feel great. Create a win-win straight away. You know, first impressions really do matter. So um, we have a look in the book at the million dollar handshake so it's great and we also have online content at each chapter so you can jump in and watch us well but if they were live on stage have the meet and greet with people that come up so it's pretty cool and then we have a chapter on body language okay because you know brain imaging technology shows that we react before we speak and if if I yawn, what will you do? Simultaneously, you would yawn too. You'll yawn. And if you smile, what am I going to do? Smile back. Smile back. <laughs> Great. You know? so, All um, right. Now, <laughs> now you tell us, Catherine. So obviously you probably were secretly judging me and the way we started um, the show. And <laughs> in, in a nutshell, all that you're saying, uh, I mean, obviously it is something that's really, really crucial in uh, creating a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Now, you really did touch on something that's really uh, happening and a lot of people, um, it's, an, it's an inevitable um, occurrence that we have become a global village. Um, we now are meant to be dealing with clients or uh, employees from different cultures and, um, you know, from different time zones and, and places within the world. Now, how then do we extend what we've learned, um, you know, in order to accommodate every other person that we sort of work with? And is it imperative that they learn our way or we learn their way? How does it then, uh, you know, work for us to create a win-win uh, scenario like you mentioned? Yeah, to create a win-win, it's not about you. If you go in there thinking you want this and you want that or you're really excited or you're really nervous, that's what you'll transfer, okay? So it's not up to the other person. They may not have these skills, but once you learn these skills, it is, it's up to you to be conscious going into, into those deals and into meeting that somebody and being really conscious when you're talking to them, not looking over their shoulder, not looking at your watch. If you're in a hurry, let them know at the beginning, communicate with them. Look, I'm so sorry, I don't have time to be able to have a meeting right now. Can we reschedule that? Make them feel good. Do you know, my biggest deals have never come from the person that, that could actually give me that deal straight away. It's been someone that has met me, liked me, and trust me, and, and forwarded my details onto the next person, just like you got me today. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I like the, the whole no like and trust. So in this is all good and well, knowing that you know you have to up your game in communications. Now, what are the sort of things that people overlook when it comes to maybe that initial handshake or um, you know when they meet meet somebody for the very very first time? Um, you know that would instantly create that rapport that we need to create million dollar deals like you you have been creating them. <laughs> It's just taking that moment before you go in. Take that moment to be fully conscious and aware of your body. Forget trying to read the other person and forget trying to um, judge and weave around those things. Just be aware of what you're doing with your body, how you're connecting. Be honest and open. Don't block yourself. Don't create blocks. Don't become conscious of little things that you're doing. It's about the other person. It's not about you. 
<laughs> okay? <laughs> it's about how you're making the other person feel, not about how you're feeling when you're going into those situations that you want to create win-win, which I believe should be every moment of every day with your husband, with your children, with, with your teachers, with yourself. It starts with you. If you want to influence and persuade, the number one person you have to influence and persuade each day is yourself. Yourself. We have to influence and persuade ourselves first that we're well, that we're healthy, that it's going to be a great day, that I've got this and if I haven't got this, what do I need to do to get it? And, and then what can I do for the next person? Because if it's just about me, things don't happen. I want to tell you a very quick story. Right. I didn't want to write a book. I actually, four years ago, I started to write it because I was told you've got to write a book and I turned it into workshops that we delivered in the first year I sold 150,000 of them. And it has changed so many lives. It was so great. But then I missed a couple of big deals because they wanted a speaker, author. So I thought, okay, look, I'll sit down. But I needed something more. And so I decided at that time, one third of this book, was going to go to the orphans we've been supporting since 2010 uh, in Watoto and just outside of Kampala. We're working with the team um, for soup, saving of Uganda's poor. And um, they really are. I'm not kidding. They, they live in the dirt. There's women, children, and the women are dying, cervical cancer, AIDS, lack of food. I can't begin to explain it. You need to be able to go and see it for yourself. But um, so I decided one third of this book was going to one third of what I get is going to go to these these people and we're going to build build them from the inside out and from the ground up. And um, when I decided that I got a book deal, a publisher wanted to publish my book. I haven't sent it to them. So we had a, we had a meeting, meet me, like me, trust me. Um, and we got some money to, to write the book. And then it got published in Australia this year. But before it was published, I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we got an international deal? That would make Australia really sit up and go, wow, there must be something to this. Right. Now, the publisher said to me, you know, that won't happen. Like, that's one in a million chance. You know, sometimes like a Harry Potter book would now get that, of course. But this is a business book and they usually don't even do business books. Um, Hachette. They're the second largest publisher in the world. Well, believe it or not, before this was published in June in Australia, we got a deal. They sold the rights to Orion in England, UK. Wow. So they've just released it over there and in India. And I just got an email today from the UK saying they're taking it to the Frankfurt Book Festival as well. Now, UK picked the book up. They said they read it. And they got the whole team to read it. They said, we loved it. It's easy to read, easy to implement. And most importantly, guess what? It works. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Now, how can people get a hold of, um, you know, the million dollar uh, handshake uh, books? Are they available in Australia yet? Uh, they are available in Australia. So um, they're online, they're on Amazon, they're at Hachette's. Um, you can see me uh, delivering the million dollar handshake around Australia as well. It's a lot of fun. So look out for that. There'll be um, a couple of events coming up in Sydney and then next year I'll be delivering the million dollar handshake as part of some of our day days for the Speakers Institute, as well as we have many, many corporate clients that obviously they hold private functions that we speak at their conferences. So, um, and, and people book me through ICMI and different speakers bureaus as well. But, um, you know, if you if the one big thing now that I want to do is to get this into the university. So that will be my next plan. I want to leave this planet with a legacy for our young people. They get their certificates, they get qualifications, they can get a job, but then they can't keep a job. Right. And then they don't think great about things. And it's really hard working in teams. And it's because of the way we communicate. Uh, even in this book, we go into, after body language, we go into behaviours, which I think is one of the biggest key factors. If you can learn this and understand yourself, you can work with anyone, anywhere. 
And one of my quotes is, what you believe doesn't make you a better person. The way you behave does. Wow. Okay. So there's little PDFs. Yeah, you can download. You can download this for your team members. You can download it for your family so that you can all start to communicate a lot better. And we created the Conscious Connection Framework that won an Asian Pacific Award last year. And uh, this framework puts everything together. It starts with you and me and the way that we connect and communicate. And then it has our body language. Being mindful, being mindful of ourselves, our planet, what we're doing is so important. Adding our behaviours to it because once we have that, that's the key to unlocking these win-win behaviours. Absolutely. And if we can do that, if we can do that, we can change the world one person at a time. So um, I, I think everyone, can, everyone is here to make a difference and we just have to master communication first. Absolutely. Because if you can't articulate how you feel or articulate you know, your, your thoughts, it's going to be difficult for any other person to understand you and that causes that is the root cause of a lot of problems the whole lack of understanding of each other right there now you have established uh, that we can get the book from uh, any bookshop and also on amazon but what if somebody oh wants, yes. yeah what if somebody wants to maybe book you for um a private seminar so you can help their team or actually help them uh, you know start a business that's profitable and enjoyable what's the best way that people can get a hold of you uh, people can get a hold of me on uh, www.catherinemalloy.com.au. Uh, you can book me through ICMI Speakers Australia. Uh, so there's a lots of different ways that you can get in contact um, with me and my team, and um, they'll let you know our availability. Next month, out of the 20 working days, I'm, I'm speaking 16 days. So... Um, it's, we've got some great companies we're working for and they really understand. I think this is the number one pillar in business that if we can get our communication working from the ground up and from the up down, we can sell, we can serve and we can lead well. Just imagine having a whole team of people that are self leading. Thank you so much, uh, Catherine, for, for all of that information pertaining to the $1 million handshake. Now, somebody might be watching this uh, sure right now and thinking, you know, maybe that information is quite useful for them What sort of go-to advice do you normally give to uh, people that are looking to start their business and? Really hone in their communication skills so that their businesses are profitable and they can actually enjoy working in those businesses Yeah, I think a lot of the times business uh, business people They start a business because they're really passionate about something that they love doing and I believe from that, your business can grow. But you really do need to be conscious about the way you're communicating to yourself, your staff, your customers. And just remember that you can be seen anywhere in seven seconds on the website, on the post that you put out, on, on the phone, all these different ways of communication. You've got to be aware of how you're communicating what you're doing. But your passion will always shine through. So if you're doing something you don't love, it eventually won't work for you. Or if you're doing something that you don't love, find a purpose that you can align with it so that it is doing something for you that you do love because your business will grow once you've aligned yourself with a purpose. There's got to be a bigger reason than just making money. And by the way, I love money. I think money is a, is a great thing to, to build. Use your talents and earn money and then use it because you can help so many people with it. Absolutely. And I really do appreciate the, the work that you're doing uh, to the ladies out there in Africa. And I, I can clearly relate. I mean, because that is home for me. I can't thank you enough, Catherine, for all um, you know, the time that you've given us, despite all the glitches on this show today, but we've actually come up with, I think, one of the best episodes um, <laughs> we've had in a very, very 
long time. Now, if you're watching this show right now, you would appreciate uh, Catherine's time and also appreciate that she can actually assist you to master how to effectively communicate, first of all, with yourself, like she says, and then with your teams and, and also people from different cultures to actually increase the sales and uh, customer satisfaction. Now, she does have her book, The uh, Millionaire Handshake, that is going to be available in stores uh, and any Amazon site near you um, that you can purchase that would help you start scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Catherine, thank you once again. Thank you. See you soon. Bye for now.